Capital Hoops here joined with Jordan Hawkins. Jordan, I know it's, it's a big day for you today. Uh, you finally made that, that commitment, something I'm sure you've been dreaming about for, uh, for quite a long time. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll get into the specifics in a minute, but just tell me, why Connecticut? Coach Hurley, Coach Center, man. Uh, those are good guys down there. Uh, they sold me. Uh, love their program. Love the Big East. Great conference. Feel like it was the best conference for me. Um, uh, we're gonna we have a great recruiting class coming in in 2021. Uh, me and Rasul Diggins feel like we can be the best backcourt in the nation. Uh, so yeah, we're going. Well, we can make some noise with those guys, and I'm uh, just excited, very excited to get down there. I know there's another stag on the Connecticut roster, and Josh yeah. Carlton, who has a similar path to you, didn't go to, didn't play for Dematha for his first two years, transferred up here from North Carolina prior to his junior year. Um, yeah. Do you know Josh at all? Have you talked to him at all throughout this process? I don't know Josh personally. Uh, I know he went to UConn. Uh, Coach Jones informed me about that. Right. But I don't really know him personally. Uh, he was just before my time, so yeah. Okay. So tell me, tell me what it is about Connecticut, like from a style perspective. Is there something, is there something that where you see yourself really fit in with what they're doing, or was it more the coaching staff and the league they play in and that and that kind of stuff? I could see myself as like a James Booknight type player the way they played him. I can see the role. I can see my role being similar to his uh, scoring guy, the guy you go to. They got to look to to get a bucket, um, defend. Uh, so yeah, pretty much, pretty much do everything. So I'm, I'm I feel like I'm have a similar play style to him. So was this was this a difficult decision for you, or was it like was Connecticut a slam dunk? Uh, it was it was pretty difficult at first. Uh, trying doing all those zoom calls trying to figure out every school trying to get a feel for the campus right. uh not being able to get on campus and stuff uh but uconn after a while it's pretty much pretty much on top of this for a while it's like it's a no-brainer i have to go there so were you able to go on any like in-person visits prior to covid or no i had i had some plan but covid took those out so, so you've, nev you've never been on, like, on a visit, official or unofficial, to any school ever before? Never. That's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. So, so yeah. tell, me, tell me what you've been up to with COVID. Obviously, I've seen you over at DeMatha practice a time or two, but what yeah. have you been doing over the past four months to, you know, to keep in shape and keep your game up? I've been running, running 6 a.m. on my mom's uh, some days, every part, every other day. Um, been doing push ups, um, Zoom calls. Um, so, uh, that's pretty much, that's pretty much been my whole COVID. I mean, when I got able to get in the gym, I've been in the gym pretty much every day when the uh, gym started to open up for me. Uh, so that's, so that's pretty much where I've been at. Have you been um, able to hit the weights at all? I know, I know one of the knocks against you, and you, and I think you've told me as well. Is yeah. your frame? You're, you know, you're a little small, and you need to fill out a little bit. Is that something you've been able to do at all, or it's just not possible? Yeah, I've been doing a little bit of weights. This is where I go to. Uh, there's a little like a little section of weights. I've been doing a little bit in there, but most I've been doing push-ups. Uh, so yes, yeah, pretty much I've been doing I'm doing push-ups like crazy. Can you can you notice any change in your body over the last four months, or? And yeah, I can tell. I can tell the difference. My chest got a little bit bigger. Uh, trying to get my arms filled out a little bit. Uh, I'm just trying to get a little more solid. Just trying to gain a little bit more weight before the season starts. Now you say before the season starts. Obviously, there's a lot of uncertainty about whether the season starts. I mean, I know you're a Montgomery County kid. I'm sure you've seen what's going on in Montgomery County. Yeah, I mean, it, sucks. It, it looked like they cancel it. Now they're maybe having second thoughts about it. But yeah. what are your what are your thoughts on the prospects of a season or maybe not a season? I pray that we are going to have a season. Uh, I'm probably, I'm pretty sure we're going to get pushed back on January. I mean, uh, I, don't, I hope it doesn't get canceled. I don't think it's going to get canceled. Uh, 
So I, I just pray, I pray we, I pray we have a season because it sucks with those guys down uh, up in Moco. Not having a football or basketball season sucks. So. Yeah. One, of the, one of the things over the past decade or so, whenever I talk to kids like yourself who have just committed, they all feel like this sense of relief. Like, yeah, I've been going through hell for the last few weeks. I'm on yeah. my phone nonstop talking to everybody, not just college coaches, but media want to know where you're going to go. The, the recruiting people at all the schools who are recruiting you always want to, you know, they want to find that out. But how yeah. do you feel? How do you feel you're, what about twelve hours removed from making that decision? How do you feel right now? Oh man, it's been a lot of wave off my shoulders. Everybody's not asking me where I'm going. Everybody can stop asking me where I'm going. Um. So yeah, it's been it's a relief. Uh, finally, finally feel I made that decision. Feel like I made the right decision. It's definitely, it's definitely a blessing I get to be in this opportunity. But it could be a little overwhelming sometimes. But as so it's, it's, it's all good, though. So. How do you look back on the last 16 months of your life? I mean, a year and a half ago, you were a student at Gaithersburg High School. You leave Gaithersburg. You kind of go to St. John's for a minute. You go to DeMatha. You win a WCAC championship. You're committed yeah. to a high major. I mean, it seems yeah. like your life has been crazy for the last year and a half. How do you, yeah. reflect, how do you reflect on it? Uh, man, it's, it's all blessing, man. Um, nobody would ever thought a kid from Moco goes to Matha, start get get championship his first year. Uh, so this is all a blessing. Uh, yeah, it's it's just surreal. Uh, I I wouldn't take any moment back I've done. I don't regret going to Gaysburg. Blessing, I, I bless. I went to Gaysburg. Blessing, get to play under Coach Hilda, uh The guys over there. Uh, that's where I'm from. That's where that's what made me. Uh, so, I think going to the math, uh, bring my times over there. Uh, gotta get, to, gotta got to play under Coach Jones. Guys like Hunter, Earl, uh, Paul, Don, all those guys. E, Will, Tyrell. Uh, so it's honestly a blessing going with those type of uh, caliber guys. Um, so I, I wouldn't take anything back. I'm, I'm, I'm just blessed to be in this. Uh, uh, position. It's just, it's, yeah. I know tomorrow's a big day for you too. First time you'll be playing in an organized game since you won the WCAC championship. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, tell me exactly what you got going on tomorrow. Uh, we got game up St. James. Uh, we got a game. I we got two games actually, eleven thirty and seven. Uh, I think I think play team Richmond first game. I don't know. We play second game. But yeah, it's been it's been a while since I played a game. So yeah, what was, what was the championship game like? February? February? Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. So, have you have you practiced much with Durant? Yeah, we've been practicing for a while. Okay. For about say a month now. Practicing for about a month. Uh, so yeah. And what is your what is your role on that team? I mean, are you one of the are you going to be dependent on heavily to score the ball, or where where do you see yourself fitting in? I mean, I'm I'm just going to get buckets. I mean, so yes, yeah, it's, it's always a it's the purpose of the game. So but we got some heavy hitters on the team. Got some guys that that can get the buckets as well. So yeah, we got our team's really good. Our team's really been would have been really good this year. I think we could went really far in Peace Jam. Sucks that it got taken away from us. Last AAU season definitely especially hurts a little bit more. So, but we got some guys on our team that can go. So, last thing I want to ask you before I, before I get you out of here, I want you to tell me since you transferred from Gaithersburg, where do you where have you seen the most growth in both your game and yourself as a young man? Like where where have you where have you taken the most leaps on the court and off the court? Uh, I just felt like I matured a lot more. I had to mature real quick going to the math. Yeah. Uh, doing that during the schedule. Uh, trying to gotta, gotta get my homework done with basketball workouts. Uh, you, get, you get pretty much get homework in every class. The math. Uh, trying to study. Uh, all just trying to do all that stuff and still have the right mindset. Playing basketball workouts. 
uh, not letting that overwhelm me, not, saying, not getting stressed out. Uh, so yeah, off the court, I, I, I feel like I had to mature, mature a lot more. But on the court, I feel like my sense of the game just has just skyrocketed. Uh, Gaysburg, I, was, I would say I was tunnel vision. Uh, was going, yeah, I was going to say I the math that I felt like my game sky, uh, skyrocketed. Uh, the way I think about the game is different now. Uh, the way I see things. Uh, see, I give I, I give all the credit to Coach uh, Coach Jones and all my teammates. They 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 brought me in, uh, took me under their shoulder, and taught me. Uh, so, yeah. Was it a big learning curve? I mean, coming from Montgomery County to the WCAC, were there yeah. were there parts of the game where you were just like, man, I never even thought about that when I was in the court. Yeah, zone. I didn't know these there. These guys are big out here. I was probably tallest player on Gainsbourg High School. Uh, we got a 7'2 guy in Hunter, uh, Hunter Dixon. So it is different. It's different around here. The game's way faster. Yeah. Guys are more talented. Uh, you got guarding some of the top players in the country, like Jeremy Ropes, uh, Chuck. Uh, you guarding guys like, like – you guarding tough guys. Guys are going to high majors, high Division One guys. Uh, Gainsbourg, probably – not probably not gonna play a, a division one guy, high division one guy. Uh, so, yeah. All right, Jordan Hawkins, UConn. Look, look forward to uh, seeing you, seeing you up north in stores. And I really hope we have a high school season this season, so we can right. cover cover you for one more year before you get out of here. Yes, sir. All right, thanks, Jordan. Appreciate you taking right. the time to talk to us. No problem.